they cannot live on your street. Right. They have to right. ex exercise their lifestyle somewhere else, and we will help you. We will help you. I will help you. Okay. Well, what do you think of that uh, lady uh, squirting the hose on the homeless lady? Um, I think it was a dude, right? Dude it was a, dude. On it was a guy yeah. squirting the I think woman. everybody is at the edge right. of their yeah. frustration. True, like, it's true. like you could say, my gosh, that's heartless. Well, maybe that person gets up every day and sees human on his, on his front door. That was Fox News douchebag Greg Gutfeld doing what he does best, marginalizing the homeless and people in need of mental health care. Greg was cheering on a San Francisco man who went viral after video emerged of him spraying a homeless woman with a hose. The person on the sidewalk is homeless, goes by the name Q. The guy with the garden hose is Collier Gwynn, owner of an upscale art and antiques gallery. I find it hard to apologize when we've had no help on this situation. We called the police. There must be 25 calls on record. Now, the homeless woman being sprayed like a dog is no stranger to this community. She's known to suffer mental health challenges, and like many who live on the street, she isn't there voluntarily. But don't tell that to Greg Gutfeld. He thinks the swelling number of Americans without homes are just people engaging in a fun, alternate lifestyle. I would support this. Uh, it's what I've been talking about for a while, an autonomous zone for people who wish to be homeless. This is where you can go and practice this experimental lifestyle, right? And if, uh, if you're back in the city panhandling, uh, we'll take you back there or we'll get you help. But you're going to go back to that place mm -hmm. because that's where it's legal. That's where it's like, and it could get really ugly and gross. Yeah. It could be a terror. It could be like the road warrior times five. But you know what? That's what they want in the city. That's right. Greg Gutfeld's solution to the homelessness crisis isn't to address the lack of shelter availability, our nation's lack of mental health care, or the lack of affordable housing. No, Greg wants to build ghettos where the homeless will be forcibly moved if they're caught outside their designated poverty zone. And don't worry. Greg may hate to pay taxes, but he's more than happy to open his wallet if that means sectioning off a part of your city to keep our most marginalized Americans away from him. That's quite a statement from Gutfeld, who considers himself proudly pro-life when a human being is in the womb, but doesn't seem to really care much once they're out in the world and struggling to access basic services. But this is pretty classic Fox News. Ignore the actual root of the problem and simply wall it off from people like Gutfeld, who can afford to keep closing their eyes to a humanitarian crisis. What's even more disgusting is that Gutfeld thinks homelessness is something most people are doing voluntarily as if they're having the time of their lives struggling to find food and fending off violence, including sexual violence, on a daily basis. I don't need to tell you how out of touch that thinking is, especially here in New York, where over 102,000 homeless adults and children slept in shelters at some point last year. Homelessness is driven largely by a lack of affordable housing and, on a more basic level, a lack of economic opportunity. The supply of affordable housing simply isn't keeping up with booming demand, and families who can't afford the rent or mortgage are forced into making really terrible choices. Here's Nan Roman. She's the CEO of the National Alliance to End Homelessness. It's due to the market to some degree. I mean, we really... Uh don't have an adequate supply of housing in the U.S. anymore. We're about 5 million units short of having an adequate supply of housing overall. And in the affordable housing category, it's even worse. We're about 7 million units short of enough affordable housing for all of the low-income households that need it. And that really is the driver uh, around homelessness. And not that Greg Gutfeld cares, but there's another major driver of homelessness that even Democrats don't want to talk about. It's called the child tax credit. And it was one of the most transformative anti-poverty measures our government ever created. And that's not an exaggeration. In its first six months alone, the child tax credit slashed child poverty rates by nearly half. But the child tax credit is dead now, along with a fair number of kids. And that's because Joe Manchin and the GOP refused to extend that child tax credit under Joe Biden. Manchin argued it would worsen inflation. You know, the same inflation that's already declining at record speed. Manchin also borrowed a Fox News talking point to argue that the parents of children who get the tax credit would use it to buy drugs. Would you be surprised to know Joe Manchin was wrong? Parents weren't using the child tax credit to buy drugs. They were using it to buy food for their kids. According to the nonprofit Children's Health Watch, food insufficiency has spiked by 25% 
since Manchin and his pals killed the tax credit, and in many cases, families were forced into homelessness because they had to choose between rent and food. Greg Gutfeld doesn't want to talk about the real reason there are so many homeless Americans, because that argument is a straight line to the GOP, who were more concerned with denying Joe Biden a political win than they were about keeping American families in their homes. That's a staggering level of cynicism. It's also pretty much what we've come to expect from the Republican Party. The same Republicans and Joe Manchins who stood in the way of the child tax credit are now fighting every effort to actually address homelessness. They're refusing to even discuss providing aid to states for local initiatives that might help, and they're definitely never bringing back the child tax credit. But that's okay. Greg Gutfeld is willing to fund the construction of homeless ghettos in every city in America, whatever it takes to avoid a real solution. As long as big real estate and major developers continue to exercise a chokehold over our Congress through a flood of lobbying cash, we won't see real solutions to the challenges of homelessness, and those most in need will continue to suffer, not least from the dehumanization brought on them by people like Greg Gutfeld. This system is broken. Does anyone actually care to fix it? If you made it to the end, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. And leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.